Yeah. Well, of course, you all know our next guest. They are a part of the greatest Super Bowl team of all time. Welcome the fridge, William Perry. <laughs> Hall of Famer, Richard Dent. And Steve Mongo McMichael. Welcome, guys. Thank you. We had to bring in bigger Design. furniture for you guys. Well, of course that's, you that's did. Good <laughs> Does that's that good ever furniture get old? Too, huh? yeah. <laughs> Does that reception to you guys ever get old? No. Oh, Never. Well, huh? This is what I tell people. If you think I'm something, I'm happy to agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's been 30 God years. God bless you. <laughs> You guys celebrated 30 years this year of the anniversary. Uh, what, what was that like? To, is it, does it feel like it's been that long, Richard? Well, you know, when you're young, you, you really don't know. You're just enjoying yourself. You know, when you look back, you, you know, you're 50. You thought 50 was old, but really you're oh, just yeah. starting to live. But, uh, you know, it's, it's the brotherly love that we appreciate one. I mean, this is the heart of the defensive line. These two guys that I can rely on and they could rely on me and that's the appreciation yeah. that you have, you know, as an athlete, right. knowing that they're there. Right. Right. We could have had we could have had Dan Hampton here, but three well, out Dan, of four Dan, ain't bad. Sure. Yeah, Dan, yeah, yeah. So we're <laughs> not bad. Right. And we have the fridge here. You became a huge fan favorite yeah. for so many people. Yeah. Uh, everybody wants to know how you're doing, how's your health? Are you doing okay? Hey, I'm doing doing wonderful. I'm here looking at you smiling and enjoy mm -hmm. and enjoying myself with the, <laughs> yeah. with, the, with the fans and everybody. So you know I can't you know I can't uh, you know say any you know any more than everything. I'm I'm really you know like I said enjoying myself and having fun. So I'm, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> you enjoy. and you are here. And, and I'm here with you. <laughs> and Brian and I both. I mean we both grew up in Southern California, but we both remember the Fritz. Like when you ran that ball, like you were such a huge star after you did that. And everybody, even a little kid from LA like me, knew the Fritz. No offense, fellas. No, no, that's the icing on the cake. <laughs> so, yeah. so you were a Rams <laughs> fan, were you? Uh oh, <laughs> oh maybe actually, Raiders. Hey, so actually, right. everybody <laughs> became an '85 oh. Bears fan. Oh, yeah. Honestly, around the country, I said yeah. Yeah. I had the record of the Super Bowl shuffle right. as a kid. I mean, just incredible. But I always wondered, did you ever feel any of those guys when you ran them over on the goal line? Like, did you? Did you? <laughs> well, you know, they was, they yeah, almost taste like chicken. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You haven't seen this guy. Yeah, it was all right. It probably oh. tastes like beers. You should see this guy drink a beer. He just squeezed the can. Yeah. That's it. it just you know, the out. can looked like it's in his hand. Through, yeah. That was it. Well, oh. uh, you, uh, Richard showed a picture in the green room, and I had to show this on the air. He had this on his phone. Yeah. Tell me what this picture is right here. What is this picture? Oh. This is needing a ride to practice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And Fridge and me and Otis Wilson. Oh, Can you believe my. all of us and get yeah. it on the scooter? That's the exact. And that's that, the that is the way how you get around. <laughs> now you can. That's his. That poor scooter. <laughs> that that directly shows how how hard Ditka worked us in training camp. Yeah, because you could walk. Three after guys would get on one scooter <laughs> to get a little break. <laughs> to get a little break and get a ride. Right, yes, but sir, that, that picture in a lot of ways kind of sums up your team right, and yeah. how close you guys were. And mm -hmm. it's hard to to rep you know replicate that with yeah, other yeah. teams, isn't it? Any team that gets that state of mind where you're like at the family picnic with your brothers and uncles and dad, uh -huh. you're going to win. Right. Mm -hmm. Every team I know that has won a championship yeah, yeah. Has, has evolved into that, a family. Do you think that's what the Bears' problem is now? Like, Yeah, they, they've got a bunch of... Uh, what, what am I going to call them? Uh, uh oh. Yeah. Old this game. Game. No, <laughs> well, the best, the best word is mercenary. Mm. You know, you hire a gun and he does the work, but he's not about your point of view or anything else other than his. Okay. Mm. But sad to see Matt Forte go. What do you yeah. think about Matt Forte going? I know he's yeah, a big fan it's, favorite. You know, it's, it's a business, you know, so you have to go sometime. But the point of it is, you know, here's a guy. To me, if you can keep legacy around, then that, that kind of controls the locker room, allow, mm -hmm. you know, players to be the best that they can be. You know, he's always been a professional coming to work every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we got to talk about your event coming up. Oh, uh, you're going to get roasted. <laughs> and uh, yeah. are you, you're, you're cool with this? Is anything off limits in this roast? Well, no, it's not, but I do get the last. <laughs> Word. Well, you know, it, it started by, you know, they said, well, since I, you know, I got caught speeding, so they want to use my mug shot and play with me. So, and, uh, but helping BBF, you know, the Better Boys Foundation, mm -hmm. who started in 1961, Joe Kelman, who started in the North Lawndale area. That's an area that, you know, always been needing help for the last 20, 60 years. Yeah. So, you know, it, and with our city and what's going on today, this is very important to help 
these different nonprofits that's in different communities to expand helping each other throughout the city. We have to take ownership of our city. Here's the question. Mongo, Fridge, do you guys have your jokes ready? Are you ready to roast Richard? Thank God there wasn't camera phones back around in those days. Oh, I bet. <laughs> but I still remember. See, this guy ain't even started drinking yet. He's all in there. You got an open bar, you know? Yeah. The, the Chicago you Six, my Otis, myself, and Dan Hampton, the band we have, we're going to play this event. It's oh, really? Night. Are you? Of course. That's great. Hey, what was the one thing you'd be worried about if there was camera phones? Oh, Vegas. <laughs> Vegas. What stage One is word. I'm, I'm happily married now, but back when I was Patrick Kane's age. <laughs> you were Patrick Kane. <laughs> were you? <laughs> you might have seen me a naked in a limo just like you did him, huh? <laughs> I can't unsee that visual, Mongo. Oh, I can see it. I can totally All right. see it. All well, right. So if well, you got a nice black tie sheep outfit, come on out and you okay. know, help us out. We love to have I'm you. I'm not going to roast you, 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 though. I'm no, just going to give you a big, fat hug after but, but it's all said and done. laugh and enjoy. <laughs> this is how I want to put you two guys over. All these years, you've been around town. You know, we've been around a lot longer doing charity work, but I've seen you guys out around town doing the good work. God bless you. Aww, thank you. 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 Thank you.